Hey everybody, it's the Walker. So what are we doing today? Well, I think we'll do today is we're going to try to answer the age-old question. Which knife, either the, the uh, Swiss Army knife hiker or the farmer is better for survival? Which of these two awesome Swiss Army knives has the edge, pun intended, for survival? So I think the only way we can really test that is we're going to have to go through these woods. We're going to have to try to scrounge ourselves up a bush meal and do all the stuff required to pull that off, including firecraft and a bunch of other things. So stay tuned. Swiss Army Knife Smackdown. Farmer versus Hiker. Saw blade of the farmer. I need to cut um, the cedar. All right, farmer saw blade, you're doing pretty good. I, mean, I wouldn't want to process a bunch of wood for a whole shelter system using this, but. Ugh. There we go. Oh, this is good. Some runoff right here. Right here, you've got some uh, wild scallions. Look at that. We'll take some of that. Here's another foraging opportunity. Violets. We'll take um, take some of these. We want the flowers, we want the leaves, we do not want the roots. Some more right here. Yep, those are them. So grab roots we don't want. Grab up a bunch of this. Here's another opportunity. Tulip poplar, one of my favorite uh, tenders. I mean, it's not as good as cedar bark, but it's right here. So we'll grab that. That'll be useful. Here's a definite resource we're grabbing. No way. <laughs> no way we're leaving this uh, yellow birch. Perfect. All right. Look at that. Oh, oh. Look at that. Wow. Wow, just wow. Man. That's awesome. That's freaking awesome. Uh, we got a oh. We got a nice trout. We got a really nice trout. I can't tell you how happy I'm about that. All right, we'll dispatch this trout and we'll start with our bush meal. Wow. Phenomenal, just phenomenal. All right. Nice, a big trout too. It's a really big trout. All right. Awesome, awesome. All right, let's dispatch this trout. Short blade. Thank you, brother. Thank you. And that is it. Done. Short blade was good for that kind of work because um, I didn't have any too much blade to go through and stick my finger or whatever. Let's get this trout. Let's get going on a bush meal. We still got the firecraft to do too. Kind of goes hand in hand though. I'll tell you, things are definitely going, whoa. Things are definitely going in our favor and I love that. I mean, I really like that. Now I think it's time Well, we avoid, um... there we are, there we go. Now I think it's time that we clean our trout. Wow. 
That's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. We'll clean the trout in this little feeder book right here. What we'll do, we already used the small blade of the um, hiker. So we'll use the, the uh, large blade on the farmer. What we'll do, carefully cut. All the guts. Pull the guts out. It's awesome. We don't need those. I suppose, um, if I had like a crawfish trap or something like that. I'd have use for them, but we don't got anything like that. There it is. Let's take this down to the uh, little tiny brook and we'll, we'll do the wash off there. Actually, oh, well, one more thing. We might as well, um, we're going to cook this thing. Might as well pull some of the scales up. We're going to cook this thing over the fire. That's why we're keeping the head on. Kind of unnecessary though, but hey, you know, might as well be civilized about the whole thing. All right, let's go. Um, we'll go down to the uh, little tiny brook and clean it off. All right, here we go. Put a finger down, clean all that out, pull that out. This fish, this is an amazing score. Absolutely amazing score. That's it. Look at that nice meat. Man, that looks great. That's going to be fantastic. Let's go take care of the firecraft, take care of the cooking. You know, we need to get some tea, too. Well, you know, we'll get, we'll get the um, hemlock carnival for tea by camp. That's what we'll do. We need a green uh, cooking stick. We're gonna take this lower branch. It's not gonna last because <laughs> it's not much light down here. Branches up there be just fine. So we'll take um, there we go, and we'll process this uh, branch up back at camp. We get the hemlock right at camp, so we don't need to go looking for that. We'll grab this. Let's take a quick look at our uh, forage today. Piles of birch bark, cedar, tulip poplar bark, hemlock. Those are blue violets. We got some wild onions and that gigantic trout. You know, for survival, that's pretty freaking good. Um, and that's not bad either. So let's start up with the firecraft stuff and then we'll start working on cooking that trout up. Well, we've done stellar. We've done absolutely stellar. Um, better than I hoped. Let's quickly go over the knives though, really fast. This is the hiker. And this is the, fa the uh, farmer. So what do we got? Small, small blade. 
large blade. I believe that's the uh, can opener and this is supposed to work as a uh, small screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. Though I prefer the real little Phillips head screwdriver in some models. This is the um, bottle opener. I think it's a wire stripper there, something like that. And a large, um, large screwdriver. Oh, this is the, um, that's the Phil large Phillips head. As a kid, I mean, what kid hasn't had this like come down on their finger before when doing this? So I gotta, I gotta watch it a little bit. And that's the, um, uh, there. And that's the um, reamer slash punch. In this case, owl. Owl? Yeah, I guess that's what it's called. Anything else? Of course, um, the saw, which we've been using right there. I'll put up all the functions in case I missed any of them. And we can never forget the uh, tweezers. These tweezers are great. And toothpick thing, which I never use. Little split ring thing. All right, so I, I guess that's about it. If I missed anything, I don't care. Um, there we go. Now the farmer is very similar to the hiker. But with one, actually a couple differences. First, it's, it's main blade. Is it my imagination or is this one bigger? I believe it's bigger. And it's also, I believe it's thicker. So it has a, a little bit more robust primary blade. Of course, on the downside, that's its only blade. It doesn't have a, um, a secondary blade like the hiker has. But yeah, it's a nice blade though. Um, as basically everything else, the saw, same exact um, little can, um, bottle opener, wire, and large screwdriver. Same thing as that. Little Phillips head, a regular screw, and um, can opener. So it's very close. Now where this gets kind of special is it has a very, 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 very nice, it's right over, reamer or punch. But it's not really an all because it doesn't have like a, a hole there. Although I don't really do any like, I don't know how you sew with it, but I don't really do that. So a lot of people, like especially bushcrafters, I think this is a great um, ferro rod spark thrower so let's see there we are Whoop. oh 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 uh, yeah so the rumor is absolutely true it's a fantastic one but the one on um, the uh, on the hiker not so much and the reason is this thing moves back a little bit. It doesn't really positively lock in solid like this one. So it kind of like, it'll throw a spark, but it, it's always wanting to move back. It, it's just not as good in my opinion. However, the Hiker does have one major advantage. Um, It has a secondary blade. I know people are going to go, oh my god, he used the blade on a, on a ferro rod. But I've got two blades, so it doesn't really matter. Um, there's another ferro rod. How's this one working? Works great. Works great. And of course, the magnesium bar. working. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do two quick um, tests of um, for each of these, maybe a few of them, of just igniting with um, some natural materials. Up first, the farmer igniting a little pile of birch bark. We'll use this ferro rod right here. Highly effective. Highly effective. 
There, oh, I don't want to have all, all of our birch bark go up. Incredibly effective. Just awesome. Awesome. I would go with confidence with this with these two right here. Farmer and a large ferro rod. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. We're gonna need this. Okay, same test. Same ferro rod. This time using the um, hiker, but we're gonna be using the small blade. Okay, I mean, we, we is that a hawk back there? Well, whatever it is, it's pissed. We got the job done, but I don't know whether it's just a random chance, but the, the farmer was better. The farmer was just much better at that. So I'm gonna give the um, barrel rod ability to the farmer. It's way better at it. Um, and, and the way that knife blade was just kind of like um, buffing up my rod, my rod, it wasn't really, I don't know. But then again, I don't really use the blade of a knife all that often to um, start a ferro rod fire, so I may just be out of practice. Um, but still, that did a great job. That did a great job. This stuff is very good, um, very good tinder. And up next, we're going to try this tulip poplar bark with a little bit of this um, magnesium. This is not really my cup of tea. This is something I don't usually do. I need a better leaf. That's one thing I need right off the bat. Something to catch this magnesium in. Let's see how this leaf goes right here. Okay. Let me scrape it. Pretty good scraper though. Am I using the proper method? I don't know. I don't. I'm usually a straight up ferro rod person. I think I'm supposed to get a little quarter size area of it. Okay, let's see if that's good enough. Whoa! Okay, um, she worked. She definitely worked. Not my ideal thing, but um, that's, that's, that's success right there. That's success right there. See if we can put it out. I doubt we can put it out. We're gonna need this tinder. All right.
All right. Try it with this knife right here. This is now with the hiker. It's definitely working. I don't really like this magnesium this stuff. I never have. But then again, it is just basically extra tender, so it's not like, you know, I, I already have a ferro rod here, so it isn't like, like it's like a big negative thing. in there. Gotta watch my fingers with a knife blade though. All right, there's a pile right there. I don't know. Okay, it worked. Definitely worked. I'm, I'm definitely worked. The hiker also got the job done with the ferro rod and uh, magnesium bar. Though again, I much prefer the uh, larger ferro rod and uh, birch bark, but <laughs> success, success. Let's hit this good. And we're not messing around. We're not messing around at all. All right, we're going to use the um, farmer. There we go. And that's why um, we have modern fire making stuff, <laughs> right? That's what that's all about right there. That's exactly what that's all about. Farmer, awesome striker. Great, nice striker. Did a really good job. Look at that. Look at that. Man. Just a wild striker. So that's an awesome tool right there. The uh, punch or the uh, all. Okay. Now um, we've got our real good meal to eat. First, some snacks. These are the um, violets. That's good. You know, um, I want the stems. I just want the part right there. That's excellent. Is that a little flower? It's fantastic. It's fantastic. That's great. There we go. I don't want to burn. I don't want to burn everything down. All right. My plan is I don't want I don't want to eat your stems. Well, the stems okay. It's just the roots you don't want to eat. Now, the plan is um, there we go. We're gonna get this fire going good. Get some coals. Then we're gonna cook that trout. So, awesome. Now we're gonna bring in, um, this is our cooking stick, right there. So let's take the um, large blade from the um, hiker. 
Ah, there we go. Good. 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 Cut this right here. It's not bad. Smooth this out a bit. We're going to use this for our trout. There we are. I take off these little um, bobby things. Oh, there we go. Oh, we might as well let the um, farmer get on the action too, right? That's a tough. Ah. There. All right, took it right off. Okay. Our trout cooking stick. That's awesome. So what I'm going to do? We're gonna do a couple things. Um, we're gonna take these. Uh, we're gonna take this. Um, well, I tell you what. Let's get a coal base first. We'll get a coal base first. Then we'll work on. Um, well, you know, we might as well work on it now. Can't hurt by getting it ready. It's trout through the trout's mouth. Now oh, be careful not to jam the stick. Cut a little exit point right there. There we are. There we are. Now. What we're going to do, I think everyone's going to love this one. We're going to take these scallions. Remember these? We're going to stuff them into the trout like this. See that? Wrap them within the stick and everything like that in there. Get them in there, you know? In the mouth of them too. Shove you in the mouth. There you go. In the mouth with you. Hmm. I smell the onions too. Well, we've got some onions. We're gonna cook these up by the fire for a little bit of um, like a little like a blooming onion, you know. So I'll do a, a bunch of these. Oh, I need my bar going. There we are. That's going to be great. It's going to be really good. Let me work on this fire. Let's get a coal base and we'll put the trout on. Fire starting to burn down. It's about time to put the uh, trout. Put the trout on. There we go. And there we are. Okay, so trout um, cooks and smokes. We'll take our little um, our little onion appetizers. There you go. A little onion appetizers right there. Let them get charred. There we are. So let them bake on that rock with the uh, fish. Cook over the fire with the onion uh, onion juices seep in. Oh, this is going to be great. This is just going to be fantastic. Knives did a great job, both of them. With a little bush meal cook. And this water um, doing good over there.
Fish is done. There we go. Let that get nice and hot there. All right, let's see what we'll see what we got here. Oh man, it looks good. Mmm. That's really good. Awesome. That's excellent. On my skunk cabbage plate too. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Yeah, I'm gonna be chewing on the head later. Let's try the um, little onion uh, appetizer. Mmm, not bad. I mean, that's a good little appetizer. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Delicious. This is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. Just to show you all something. Pull the bones off in one shot. Look at all that meat. Look at that big chunk of meat. Mmm. Man. All that. That's outrageous. Look at that. That's really good. Now we'll do the wrap up. These two excellent blades. Always smoke in my face. Always. The owls are cool. But man, I can't do the wrap up right here. I'm going to have to move over about five feet. Those owls were pretty neat though. I, don't know if I hope you all heard that. Whew. I mean, how am I gonna do the wrap up like this? It's just not, it's just not happening. I obviously have to move over. Well, that's certainly better. Ah, that smoke, it's amazing. Let's try this tea. Mm. This ain't surviving. This is thriving. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, great. Okay. Let's discuss these two knives for the wrap up. See which one I prefer for survival. So which of these two knives do I prefer for a survival situation? I've used the hiker more than I've used the farmer because I hike more than I do bushcraft work. Bushcrafters really, they seem to like this farmer. But um, I, I tend to be more of a hiker type. So I've carried this for many, many miles. But I have to say, I see the wisdom in what the bushcrafters preference here. I really do. Uh, the primary blade is thicker, near as I can tell, just from my eyes, and wider. And that means something. At least, at least I'm look, just my just from my visual inspection. That's how it looks to me. So that's a big deal. Um, the biggest deal of all is the reamer. Um, there we go. There's the reamer as opposed to the reamer for the uh, hiker. Although the, though the hiker's reamer has a little um, little sew and all thing, but still for firecraft, that reamer is brutal. <laughs> it throws a wild spark. It is fantastic. 
Uh, the saws are the same. You know, same saws on each one. Uh, although I have to admit the um, the hiker, I mean the uh, farmer feels more robust. The entire knife just feels more solid. I do really love the tweezers. That comes with the um, with the uh, hike with the hiker. Those tweezers are awesome. I pulled a lot of splinters out of me and a lot of ticks with it. But that's a fantastic thing. And I like the fact that this knife has an extra, uh, extra, extra, a little knife with it. And I kind of like the um, Phillips head. But for survival situation, I, I, my feeling is it's going to be the farmer. That's just my view. Um, however, if you had either one of these knives, you're doing really good. <laughs> you know, if you got either one of these knives and you're in a, you're in a bad way, you need a good tool, you know. Count your blessings either way. All right, that's about it. Let me pack this stuff up. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you've seen. Hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you very much for watching.